There is a silent epidemic of fatty liver disease in Australia. In fact, half of you in this room and half of you viewing out there in, on the internet will have fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease, or too much fat in the liver, is bad because it can progress to inflammation, which then can progress to scarring of the liver. And as Darren Hinch can attest to, one of the major complications of scarring of the liver is liver cancer. In fact, one in 20 people with fatty liver disease will get liver cancer after 15 years. Despite this, there are no, currently no therapies for fatty liver disease, and all I can tell my patients is to exercise and have a good diet. But even my dietary advice is incomplete. So in my PhD, I am exploring the role of compounds in food called advanced glycosylation end products, or AGEs. AGEs are formed when you heat protein and sugars at high temperatures. So if you boil foods, you get a relatively low amount of AGEs. But if you bake or fry foods, you get a higher amount of AGEs. And interestingly, if you barbecue foods, you get the highest amount of AGEs. So in my experiment, I took three groups of rats. The first group of rats had normal livers. The second group of rats had fatty liver, which I induced by altering their diet. The third group of rats had fatty liver and also a diet high in AGEs, which I produced by baking their diet. In short, I was their master chef. <laughs> and in just six weeks, the rats with fatty liver and a diet high in AGEs had more inflammation in their livers and also trends towards more scarring in the livers. And if you took the cells which produce scar tissue and exposed them to AGEs, they were more activated. So in short, if you have fatty liver, then a diet high in AGEs is bad for you. This finding has huge implications in the way we process our foods and also the dietary advice we give people with fatty liver disease. But because I like my steak charred grilled and not boiled, we are now developing ways to block AGEs so that we can enjoy the foods we love, but more importantly, pave the way for brand new treatments for the most common liver disease in the world, fatty liver disease. Thank you. <laughs>